Hey everyone, my name is James. I'm the town manager of Town of Berwick, and I'm here with my monthly updates. First thing I have for you is uh, happy to report that our pretreatment pilot testing is well underway. Um, they stopped in, I think it's, they've been at it for a week and a half or so. And what they're doing is they're testing two different chemicals with the pretreatment process to determine what works best with our water system. And what will happen is they are taking samples and they're writing a report on what works best uh, for the Salmon Falls River. Those results will be compiled into a report, which will help finish some of the preliminary engineering and then finalizing engineering. And that can, uh, once we know it works, then we can send the project out to bid. That'll take you know, a month, month or two. And then we pick the contractor and it, it'll take a little bit of time for them to get mobilized. And then the construction season starts. So with all that happening, we anticipate uh, a conservative guess at this point, guesstimate at this point would be construction will, will be completed by the end of 2024. And of course, I'm looking to expedite, expedite that. We're looking to exp expedite that as much as possible. But we want to make sure we do it right and, and do something that works for the water system. For the old fire station, after a year of it being on the market, we've had some nibbles and, and folks interested. Happy to share that we finally have sold it and sending a warm welcome to Lisa and Mike Oaks. Uh, they have the interest in use for the first floor. They collect Volkswagens and you'll see them start moving uh, them in. They have all different kinds and they're, they're open to, um, as you can see in the slide, they're really open to being part of the community and we're excited to have them in, in, the, in the community. And they are interested in hearing ideas on how to best use the second floor and they're open to some community uses. So if you have any ideas, reach out to me and I can connect you with Mike and Lisa. Quick update on the Edge to Salmon Falls drainage project. And as you can see over the past month or so, Great Falls Construction and Cantwell um, Construction have been working on installing the 60 inch pipe that goes down the middle of their site. They upgraded it from a 40 inch pipe, 48 inch pipe, and they could have got probably gotten away with leaving it and just making do with that 48 inch pipe. But they were aware of drainage issues we had on Wilson Street, and they also knew that to set them set themselves up and set the town up for success well into the future, it made sense to upgrade that infrastructure. And they inherited this issue, this issue. It's a peculiar uh, setup where all the water from Pine Hill, the stormwater comes down a pipe and it converges with a river that's also being, or a stream that's being piped and they come together and it goes underneath the site. So we're happy to, to see that they're doing things the right way to set us up for the future. And what we're doing is picking it up at our own town own infrastructure and upgrading our pipe to be able to get to the river. And that will help us be much more resilient from flooding and other high rain events. And speaking of being resilient to high uh, weather events or weather events, the Southern Maine Planning Development Commission in the town is hosting a community, community resilience workshop at the Barrack Library. This will be held November 16th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And what this is about is starting a discussion within the community about how we can be more resilient, resilient to ice storms or rain events. There is a whole host of things a community can do and there's tons of resources out there. So most importantly, we wanna hear what your ideas are and what's important to you. And I think it'll be a really, really great discussion to kick off this project. So again, that'll be uh, uh, November 16th at the library. Last piece I have is we have Brad Curry at the town hall first Wednesday of the month from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. He's from the Small Business Administration. And he's here as a business resource to connect you with all, all the federal resources out there um, on the federal and state level. So if you're interested in, in starting a business or growing your business, you can reach out to Brad at bradley.curry.sba.gov. 
And for more information, you can see the video Brad did with BCM. You can also see the SBA Resource Fair video as well. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, you can email me at townmanager at berwickmain.org. Give me a call at 207-698-1101, extension 111. Thank you.